Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and in this video I want to share with you a few announcements about what's coming up on the channel in the near future, and also share with you an actual prepping tip at the end, and a demonstration and everything that I'll be doing. I hate these just announcement videos where I don't actually do a prepping thing. So I've got a whole demonstration at the end about something, uh, you know, related to not killing yourself with water, so uh, you may want to stick around and check that out. But first, the announcement is that this Friday is going to be a regular Praxis uh, video. It's not going to be an Alien Invasion video. Uh, in February, the first Friday in February, Alien Invasion is coming back with the Day 7 episode. But for this coming Friday, it's a regular Praxis episode, and it's a special one because it represents the first collaboration project between myself and one of the members of the Patreon community who is helping to support this channel. People on Patreon are supporting the Alien Invasion uh, series, but they're also supporting the channel at large, helping me to improve all of the episodes. And what you're going to see on Friday is a representation of that. The topic of the episode was one that they themselves came up with. Uh, uh, Patreon supporters at a certain level are able to dictate <laughs> uh, a, a certain topic, a prepping topic to me, and I'm at their service to create it. And it's a topic, it's a great one. A lot of people have asked me about it, and I've been sort of uh, reluctant to, to put the video together because it's just so big, but they ordered it. And I, I'm delivering it on Friday, you'll get to see it. And the topic is this, how to build your own house, how to build your own homestead. It's something that I think a lot of people feel it's beyond their ability, but almost anyone can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. I'm gonna go through what I went through to get to this point. It's a great decision for all sorts of people. We're gonna get all into the nuts and bolts of it. And um, I hope that the video helps to inspire people who wanna do that to feel like they might actually be empowered to go ahead and go through with it because it's, it's a great thing that you can do, not just for your preps, but also just for your life in general. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about here before we get into the demonstration is that heading into February, the original plan was that in February uh, for Alien Invasion, we were going to be going ahead at whatever level funding was uh, supporting at that moment. And uh, we are uh, just, right now we're at 69% of our goal. I know 69 is really sexy, isn't it? But it's not quite 100% of the goal of being able to do two episodes for the month of February. If we can get to 75%, go from 69 to 75%, uh, by February, I will be able to release two episodes in the month. So 75%, we'll call it 100%, and I'll release two episodes in February. And it, that would be a particularly good month to do it because the Day 7 episode, which is going to be the first Friday in February, has a really awful cliffhanger at the end of that. And I don't think people are going to want to wait till March to find out what happens in the second part. So if we can get to 75% of goal, which is just another uh, few $5 contributors or, you know, you know, people at $1 or whatever, you know, is right for you. Uh, if you want to partner with us, there is all sorts of uh, different opportunities on the uh, Patreon side, little perks and things like that for when you join and, uh, uh, access to all sorts of uh, additional material that's not, you know, out on the general YouTube channel. So if you're interested in supporting this entire channel and especially the Alien Invasion series, jump on board. If we can get to 75%, we'll call it 100 uh, in February and we'll be able to release two episodes. So that's all the announcements that I wanted to make. So I hope you're excited about the Homestead episode coming up on Friday. But before you can even get into your homestead, you have to make sure you don't poison yourself. And I've got this, this is a water bottle that I use all the time. And it's kind of hard to clean. I know there's brushes that you can have to go in there, but in a pinch, if you're out like in the woods or something like that, and you, you can't clean a bottle, you don't have the right brush or whatever, or even just if you don't want to own a, uh, a uh, scrub brush, what you can do is uh, clean this in a primitive method. I'm going to demonstrate it right now. Just to hold up the bottle in front of, I've got a white piece of paper here to just give you a sense of, of how dirty this bottle is. It's kind of greenish, kind of leaning towards brown, really gross in there. So. That's what we're dealing with. What I'm going to do is use uh, things that you would commonly find just out in nature. So you don't need anything special. Here's a funnel. You don't really need a funnel, but I'm in my house, so <laughs> I'm going to use a funnel. And I've just got a little bit of sand. Now, this is just some river sand. You can use any kind of sand as long as it's you know, reasonably clean. If you're not sure about the sand, you can you know, wash it out, flush it out with some water, and then boil it, and you'd have really sanitary sand. I'm not bothering to boil this because it's reasonably clean, and then I'm just going to wash the bottle later. So I'm going to take some sand, put it in there. This is just an old vinegar bottle that I use as my water bottle. And it's got a wine cork as the top of it. So now I've got that sand in there. It's going to be nice and abrasive and I just start shaking it around. 
And I'm looking right at the bottom, I'm seeing it's cleaning the edges first. The middle is the hardest part to get because the, when you're swirling it, the sand wants to stay on the outside. So shaking it upside down like that. Getting a little better. A little better. These are some New Hampshire vote stickers. I used to be a New Hampshire resident. Keep my, my New Hampshire voting pride on my water bottle. Oh, getting a little better. All right, and that looks like it. You can see the, the water's really filthy. It's really cleaned up a lot of what's in here. I'm gonna take this, and pour that out. And I've got some, some more clean water to help flush, flush it through. Put the funnel back in. Again, you wouldn't have to worry about the funnel if you're outside, but I'm in my house, so we use a funnel. Put that, put the cork back in again. And this is just the cleaning pass of getting all the sand out. And sometimes it takes a few rinses to get the sand out. So I'm not gonna do another one. There's still some sand in there I need to wash out, but for the, actually no, I do need to do another pass. There's a lot of sand on the backside. Just do one more rinse. Okay, that's good enough for a demonstration purpose anyway. Obviously you'd wanna keep cleaning this up, but uh, you can see how much cleaner the bottle is after that. And it's just ordinary river sand. If you've got a water bottle, you need to clean it. It's got algae growing in it or anything. You really have to clean these things, even if you're putting only pure water in there. Otherwise, you start growing slimy stuff and everything. You've got to keep it clean. Keep yourself safe. After this, I would run some soap in here since I didn't sanitize the, uh, the sand. But uh, there you go. Clean, and I didn't even need one of those special brushes. That's it. I'll see you on Friday. I hope you enjoy that episode. And if you're interested in supporting the channel at large, Patreon link below. Help get us a 75%, and we'll do two alien invasions in February. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.